Ride Manufacturing World. This is Eddie with MTD CNC, and we are here at one of the largest stages that manufacturing has to offer. And I'm hanging out with a big name in the game, Dave Capcomis from EBITDA Growth Systems. How you doing today, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm in the Akuma booth, and I am super stoked. There we go. Hey, we're turning, we're earning, and we ain't burning. But that being said, I, you've been a busy boy with the little series that you may have heard of called Shop Rescue. Now, this has been a collaborative effort from brands around the world. I'm not even going to get too much into it because we got the guy right here. Unpack that for us, Dave. Dude, Shop Rescue is all about us investing in shops that struggle and not that they're going out of business, but people that want to level up, right? We meet them, we invest in them, and we come into a shop and in six months we do a full turnaround. Six months we set them free and they level up and they start taking off and I'm super stoked. And one thing I love is Akuma came alongside us and sponsored this season in 2024 and they've been fantastic. You, lots of amazing partners that are really helping us make great noise on that Shop Rescue series. And so we're sitting here in front of this incredible machine. Shop Rescue, we have lots of capabilities, but correct me if I'm wrong, we got a friend coming here we're going to bring on with us to show us a little bit more, correct? That's right. Now, now yeah. hold on a second. It, we are dealing with a company called Copco, and they bought another company called Sterling. And they're making this very intricate part at seven operations. They have two of these machines at Sterling. And they went from seven operations on that part to three operations. So they removed four operations. And they're doing that all with one operator. And they increased their profitability by about 150%, being able to help their customer get something done at a lower price and keep business long term instead of being a high price solution, losing the business. So Akuma is, you know, we love having sponsors and people, people putting their name on stuff and contributing. But the thing of it is, is having a machine like this and a technology, giving somebody the ability to put money in their business, reinvest in their people, reinvest in their community is really what this is about. And that's why we love Akuma. It's been a fantastic thing. This seems very in line with your, your famous little tagline and mission statement. Hit us with it one more time because I love it so much. What is that mission statement you brag about all the time? Impact, impacting lives through improving business performance. That's what it's all about. We want to make a difference in people's lives. It's not just it's about people making money and doing great things, man. There you go. And we do not do this alone. We do it together. So, hey, let's bring in a friend who's got a pretty special gift. Look at this bad boy. Oh, my Here goodness. Go. Here we go. Give me that guitar. Step aside, Dave. The real rock star has arrived. I dig this. So, man, you know, you're, gonna, you're not going to bring a beautiful specimen and piece of work like this and not talk about it. I need to know everything, man. Well, I'll, I'll spend a little bit of time talking about this magnificent guitar. It was made on all Akuma, an Akuma MU6300, five-axis vertical, as well as a Maltus that did a lot of the neck work. So it was really impressive to see it all come together. There's a couple of these here at IMTS, and uh, we would invite you to come take a look at them. So I'm curious, this obviously shows lots of capability, but why above all things a guitar? You've made so many things with your incredible machinery. Well, these, why these, this? These things really draw the customer in, right? To ask questions about what it can do, and the fine detail on this really shows, like you would never imagine this part being made on a, on a lathe. Right? I never guessed in a million right. years. So that's the kind of thing you want, is I, I, I never thought about making a part that way. You want to draw them in and that kind of thing. I love it. If we're going to make noise, let's do it together, and why not create ourselves some instruments? That's so right. hey, that's hey, knowing right. that, what is upcoming with not this machine, with the partnership, what's happening? What do we need to know about Akuma here at this big show? Well, the one thing, they were talking about how much this machine changed that shop. This machine is capable of doing a lot of things. It has an upper turret that can do a tool changing, full milling capability, lower turret with or without to do a lot of more of the turning, subspindle or tail stock. We're also showing that we can change tools out on the lower turret with this robot, but we can also do skiving, hobbing, so it's almost up to the imagination all the different processes you could put through a machine like this. In the booth, we are really focused on our new P500 control as well as automation. They are the two stars of our booth. There we go. Well, we're bringing all the rock stars here to the Okuma booth here at IMTS. So, got a couple of rock stars you don't have to worry about. I'm going to take this bad boy home with me. But wonderful to be able to make noise with Dave here at EGS and with Okuma. Make sure you guys check out Shop Rescue. This is Eddie with MTD CNC. We'll see you next time.